Hello crafty friends, today is Creepy Cute Friday, so another issue of the Creepy Cute Chronicles for Oddball Stamps. And today's image is super adorable and you guys can see why I'm super thrilled about it because it's a mermaid. It's a mermaid witch and I love, love, love mermaids. So I was super excited about this image. This will be the freebie image that you will get uh, for this coming week. So remember, if you haven't um, downloaded the image from last week, uh, the little bat, super cute as well. Make sure that you guys do that before tonight because um, it will be your last chance to download it. So um, make sure that you do it. And then this will be the next one that you get for this upcoming week on tonight's issue. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, and I hope that you enjoyed my videos and you consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell so you are notified whenever I upload any videos. And um, if you don't know about the Oddball Stamps, make sure that you check them out. I will leave a link down below so you guys can um, see about getting these amazing digital images. But what they do, they have a weekly free image that you can get by signing up to their newsletter. So a super awesome way to get, um, you know, your hands on of these super amazing stamps. So what I'm doing here, let me just explain to you a bit. Um, I am doing some masking. So what I was thinking to do is some um, ink blending using my distress tools. Now, the way that, because this is a printed image, it wasn't a stamp, so I can't come and stamp it again. What I did, I printed the image again on just regular copy paper and I cut it out. But because if you see all those itty bitty sections like on the little stingray and um, you know all of the other little sections were going to be a little bit hard to cut out, I decided to use this masking fluid. So this is called, um, it's like Graphax Masking Fluid by Molotov and this is like in a pen. So basically what you do is um, you use your pen to cover anything that you want to mask. So when you're doing your ink blending, it, the, the ink does not get there accidentally. So I use my little tool in one to use the little pick to put on the little tiny sections. And here you can see me putting that image once I cut it, uh, fuzzy cut it out. And then I did the same for the stingray. However, I did uh, mask those itty bitty sections so I didn't have to worry about cutting them out. I am using my Distress Oxide inks here to do some ink blending. I wanted to do a little bit of an under the sea, um, you know, kind of spooky scene, but you can see it's, it's gonna change in a little bit. So that's why on that little sentiment that says, which better have my candy, which I think it's really funny and adorable. I um, made like a little pumpkin, like, you know, if it was a floating pumpkin, to kind of keep that area white so that way, you know, I could use a different color later on to color it. But I'm using here a variation of different um, distress inks so that way I can ink blend. I'm using different blues for the top and at the bottom I did decide because, you know, she is on the ground, um, you know, laying on that big old sh uh, shell. Um, to put a little bit of that fossilized amber, which is a little bit of a yellowish um ink and I did go over it later on with some blue because I didn't want it to be so bright yellow but um, here you'll see me just put in a little bit uh, more of the ink all over the place so yeah as you can see sometimes I'm like I forget to keep it center and I keep moving it back um, you know more towards me so I can do the ink blending I try I was trying to make sure that you know my table didn't shake as much so I hope that the video quality comes out great now to give a little bit of depth because um yeah it's it's under the sea but it's you know kind of meant to be a little bit of a darker um time so i decided to use some of these um stormy sky and faded jeans to kind of give it a little bit of that darker color and then you can see here where i added more of that dark um on the ground where the where the sand would have been so I'm just adding a little bit more of the brighter color. And I'm almost done here with the image. I was trying to decide if I was going to sprinkle water in there or not. I decided to not do it because um, I wanted to make it a shaker. So I decided to leave it alone. I am using some of my black sooth. And for this one, I don't I don't even know if they have the Distress Oxide in this black. But um, I don't have the big one. I only have the, the little tiny cube. But that's enough for, you know, for what I do. I don't need a lot of it. And you know, this a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just doing a light hand uh, all around to just kind of make that dark come in. 
and I'm going to be using my tweezers here to remove the mask that I created. So here you can see the magic happen and start coming off. Now, um, when you use that graphics on the paper that I was using, this is a different kind of paper. It does get a little, um, I, I get stuck with it. Um, I ran out of my Bristol Smooth paper, which is a paper that I absolutely love, and it works really good when I use this technique. But um, but yeah, so I had to use this paper, but. When I was removing it, um, it kind of tore off a little bit. However, um, right behind that shell, I liked the look of it because I, you know, as I was going with my um, adhesive eraser, it was erasing some of the ink as well. But I liked the look of it because it made it look like it was kind of glowing in the background. So I like that effect. Um, and here I'm just using some of my Copic markers to color in my little mermaid. I'm not going to make her spooky. I'm just going to make her like a regular mermaid. And, um, you know, she's just so beautiful. So I'm just using those different shades to color her skin. And then I'm going to be using um, a couple of different blues and purples to color her tail. Those are my favorite um, colors or my favorite combination to put on mermaids. Um, you know, just mixing the tail or make it look like an ombre color. So that's what I did. I'm just adding a little bit of a darker color to uh, some areas here to just add a little bit of depth to the to the image or to the tail and then I'll come back and just kind of kind of try to blend those two in as best as I can you know they're not um, the colors are not too close to each other obviously they're kind of opposite but um, you know just trying to blend as best as I can so I'm using my lighter um, color and then I'll go back with my darker color but I'll do the tip and tip technique I decided to color my stingray purple so I am using the same colors that I had um, again, like I've mentioned before, so when I start coloring, I sometimes use 100 markers. I don't know. I use a lot of markers, especially when you try to blend different colors. Um, you know, the pile grows. And if you keep them all on your table at the same time, um, it just gets full. So I try to use the same color or if I think that I'm going to be using the same color throughout different things, I try to use it at the same time. So that way I can put them away and I don't have the big mess of colors all around. So I decided to go with coloring her hair um, kind of like in a teal greenish color. I thought it was fun. So, you know, it is Halloween after all, so she can have any hair color she wants. Um, so, yeah, I decided to go and do this. So I'm using this kind of like a green, I believe the GT stands for green teal or green turquoise. I'm not sure, but it's like a green uh, emeraldish color. Absolutely love it. And then I'm just adding some of the darker color here just to add a little bit of depth again to the hair and just create a little bit of interest. So super, super excited. Um, also, I wanted while I'm doing this, I wanted to mention that um, Oddball Stamps has a super great sale going on right now for stamps. Um, I know I probably sound like I'm trying to sell, but, you know, I'm, I just... I'm super excited because I want to share any good deals that I find or good things that I see out there. And I know a lot of people sometimes kind of don't want to get the digital stamps because they're, you know, or they don't want to like spend the money. However, the stamps are not expensive. They're pretty inexpensive. They're usually around $3 or so. And um, you get super awesome things. And then you, the, the things that you can do with them is amazing because you can resize them. You could do so much more than a regular stamp. So that's what I absolutely love about digital stamps. So um, anyway, going back to the sale, if you head over to their Instagram, you'll be able to see the, the sale of that. And it's basically you buy... Um, Three images, but you're only going to be paying for one. So that's a super, super huge deal. Um, like I told Lizzie, I am going to be calling it an instant deal because it's on Instagram. So make sure that you guys go to Instagram, follow them, and, and make sure that you guys check out the coupon code so that way you guys can see it. I did post it on my Instagram as well. So uh, make sure that you guys check it, but they will have the information on their original post so that way you guys don't miss anything. So make sure that you head over. And, um, you know, don't miss this opportunity. I do have a long list of stamps that I want to get. So I, you know, this will be a perfect opportunity for me to get some. I wish I had more time, though, to to use them all. But it's never, you know, a bad thing. Uh, my budget for crafting right now, it's kind of um, a little on the thin side. But um, when you have deals like these, it's like really, really hard to resist. So I am going to be getting a few images, I am sure. So I will be very, very excited to share those with you or make some projects. 
um, to share with you guys. So if you do uh, purchase them and then you have a YouTube channel, I'd love to see what you guys create. Or if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, like I said, I'm not an expert, but I just love creating. I love coloring. I love making cards and projects. So I hope that you guys do enjoy my videos and do enjoy these somewhat tutorials. But um, yeah, they're super fun, like I told you. So um, I'm going to move on to coloring her little hat here. So we finish with the hair and I'm going to be using some um, kind of like a blue, blue purple color. Um, and then I always start with the lighter color. You could go from dark to light if you feel comfortable with it and you know exactly where you're going to go. But because I'm still in the, you know, making sure that I get it right side, I start with the lighter color and then go darker because you could always go darker afterwards. If you go to dark in the beginning, it is a lot harder to remove color. So, you know, just a little, just a little thought. I'm just adding here a little bit of interest to the hat and um, coming back with a third darker color. So you can see here it starts um, to add dimension. I didn't want to give her a black hat because, um, you know, she's in this under the sea. So um, she's a nice witch. She's not an evil witch. <laughs> so that's what she is wearing. And speaking of, um, are you guys excited for Halloween? What are you guys doing? I know I just did a little mini giveaway of some of my cards. And I had a lot of fun reading everybody's comments on, you know, what they do for Halloween and how, you know, they get into it. This year, we're not so big into it. So we'll probably just take my son because, you know, my daughters are not really into it. I, you know, they're getting older, so... I don't think that they want to really go trick-or-treating, but we might just bring my son, you know, to a couple of houses down the neighborhood so he can kind of start seeing what that is like. But yeah, I think a pumpkin patch and, you know, just hanging out with the family will be good this year. So, yes. Um, and I am also trying to work on some more projects for you guys. I have been trying to um, stock up my Etsy just a little bit, so... I'm trying to put a you know a little bit of extra projects on the side. Um, I do have some thank yous, some uh, challenges that I need to enter. So I'll be working on that as well. A lot of it I can't really share because I want it to be a surprise. But, you know, once I do have it or once I know that they received it, I'll come back and share with you guys so you can check it out. But here we're pretty much done and then I am using my adhesive eraser and you could use a different eraser but that's the one I had handy to just kind of do different um, erase around the image just to give that you know illusion of I don't know like different light coming behind it. So I decided to do that. I am also using my jelly um, white jelly pen to add a little bit of details to the like the little white bones and the little bubbles and you know just kind of add a little bit of details here and there um also i do apologize for the light up there i was using my glass mat and i haven't figured out a way to kind of not um you know for it not to show i was finishing this up last night and it was pretty late so i needed to have the light um but yeah so i apologize if that is a little bit distracting for you um, and yeah, like I said, we're just adding a little bit of the details here. Now I decided to go and make these a shaker. So, um, you'll see that, you know, the scene looks pretty cool and I really liked it, but I wasn't sure that I wanted to make that big of a card or, you know, or if I wanted to frame it. So I decided to go for a circle shaker card because I haven't made, um, you know, those in a while. So I said, why not? I'm also using my sparkle pen here to add a little bit of sparkle to those pearls and then coloring her eyes, just like a nice honey color. And then a little bit of sparkle to the stars. And the pumpkin-like. Um, I decided not to add any to her tail because, you know, I just wasn't sure. Now, um, I didn't color that other pumpkin on the other side because that's when I decided that I wasn't going to be um, using the whole image. And I did come with my white pen and added some of those streaks. I wasn't too happy afterwards, but I had already done it. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like it better when they when I didn't do those streaks or, or do they still look good? I'd like to know. So here I'm just trying to align my little um, circle onto my circle card that I've made. So I just basically folded the, um, score the paper and then um, cut it with my die. I also cut a frame for it. And the frame I just used the same die with the smaller one on the bottom. And um, just using some of my double-sided um, scotch tape, 
I doubled it so that way I can have a little bit of extra room for those sequins to move around. That's one of my favorite ways, ways to do it, especially because you could add some of the chunkier sequins, which is awesome. The easiest way to put your acetate on circle or round surfaces is to remove both sides, both ends of the um, of that little strip or paper that holds it. So that way your um, tape is a little bit more easy to manage. So I love doing that. And here you basically see I'm almost done just trying to figure, um, you know, figure it out, make sure that I close every single section and then put my little shaker stuff in the center and it's pretty much done. So I hope that you guys enjoy this project. Go ahead and visit my blog if you'd like to see more still photos and make sure that you visit the Oddball Stamps um, Instagram and also their website so you can check out the awesome and amazing images that they have. And um, don't forget to subscribe to their newsletter so that way you can get your free image on tonight's um, newsletter. And I'm pretty sure you're going to love it. Thank you so much for coming by. Again, like I said, if you are a new subscriber, welcome. Thank you to all my subscribers for all your love and support and your lovely comments that you always leave. And hope everybody has a wonderful day and a great weekend. I'll catch you guys soon on the next video. Bye-bye.